Okay, talking of um, an embarrassment in the Premier League, let's talk Liverpool. Oh, how dare you! What's what's happening there? Henderson's out now for he's got a groin injury, a couple of weeks. Kabak, what's all that about? Yeah, Who, who's look looked at him and went and, and said he's the answer? Yeah. What's happened to Ben Davis? He's on the bench, not used. I just don't get what's happening. I really don't. Well, f- well, first and foremost, look, everyone will know that I'm no apologist for Liverpool whatsoever, but the injuries again, they, and I know people hate me, Scott, but it is absolutely a f- one a factor, not saying it's the factor, but it, it's a factor. Not that they have got more songs than everyone else. <laughs> Where is Clobby? Is he phoned He's, up yet? We'll is he phoned him. up? Um, it, it is, I, I know it, they've got injury worries. It is, and, it, and again, I mean, the luck they have had, or bad luck that they have, they've so they've had Fabinho in there. They got they got the three centre halves that have been missing all season. Okay, Van Dijk, Gomez, and Matip. They've now got Henderson missing. Their fi- their first five choice, what you would consider that now, even though the two midfielders are right. there, all that injured. Yeah, but I, no, listen, I hear what you're saying. It, I hear what you're saying, right? But when you're bringing in, when you're bringing in someone like Ben Davis, right? I've not yeah. seen enough of him to yeah. know he's a brilliant centre half, mm. okay, or he's the answer to the problems. But presumably, Jurgen Klopp is bringing in a centre half to play centre half, right? And by doing that, you can take Jordan Henderson, who I think has been a massive loss for Liverpool in the middle part, take him out of that defensive role and mm. play him in his mm. preferred position. Mm. He's still not doing that. Ben Davis was on the bench; he was not used. Well, Nat Phillips come on when when Henderson yeah, see, went I, off. I so clearly, he. He's not. He's not a spring chicken. He's what? He'll be twenty-four. In a Nat Phillips, yes, yes, right. and Ben Davis is of a similar age. Look, the Ben Davis one is part of a, a, a as a transaction. It's actually a, a, a very good piece of business. They pay one point five million, I believe. They pay. It rises months. to one. Yeah. It, 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 he's got six months left on his contract. Whatever happens between now and the end of the season and next season. They will make money on him. They won't. They won't lose. They'll, they'll, they'll probably. So, in, in terms of that, it's been a good business deal. In terms of the what Klopp needs, he needed. He needed two a centre half at least that could come in. And I've I've used this. And I saw them at the weekend. They were they were excellent against against my mob. Um, Bednarek at, at the back of Vestergaard. Now, someone like that, okay? Someone who's very experienced, knows the Premier League, and can come in. And and I mean, there's a there's a couple of centre halves I saw tonight that play for Brighton. Decent centre halves. They didn't want to go down that route. They probably have their, they thought they'd probably have their pants pulled down in January as well because it's a difficult market to get right. But look, the injuries have been a problem. They're, you a- absolutely have to say that when you're talking about Liverpool because th- without those injuries, they would, in my opinion, they would be much, Salah, much... Firmino and, and Mane weren't injured and they no, scored and no goals. Yeah, and that's... So and that that, there's a, a problem there. There is absolutely a problem. That's not just, again, it's a factor. It's not the It's not the reason. They lose They lose Henderson in the middle of the park. Well, put him back there. You, you can, yeah, can, here's a question. Yeah, yeah, can yeah, Henderson yeah, play in the middle of the park? Yes. Yeah, 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 I, I'm, I, no, Who's I, making that decision? The manager? Yeah, things are going badly wrong at Liverpool right now. They are. They, they, and, they're, and they're in a tailspin. And when you... When you play, when you go into games, when you start winning and you're picking up good results and you're playing well, but it becomes, it's a bit of a cliche in football, but it's so true. It becomes a habit. You go in, and Liverpool last season, over the last two and a half years, their habit of winning football matches has been remarkable. They they went, pretty much before they went on that pitch, they'd have you half beaten. Yeah, I agree they? with that. Yeah. Their, their, their record at home went stretched back well over four years. They've now lost the last four league games at home on the spin. That now it's a mental, as much as a mental thing. And teams go there. Everton went there knowing, knowing it was their best chance in in, in what twenty two. Where how many years it yeah. was since Kevin Campbell scored? They went there knowing. And Liverpool fans would have known. They made they did. They weren't prepared to admit it on this show last week. Last last week, but we all knew that Everton had a great chance because Liverpool were vulnerable, and they are. They are very vulnerable now. And they got to go away to Sheffield United. Well. God, I mean, who's on a more who's on a more wretched run right now than Liverpool? You know, they're, mm. they're I know they won in the Champions League against what I thought was a pretty bang average Leipzig side. I thought they were dreadful. 